Okay, so here we are in a bunker that was just rebuilt into two. What was uh, this before? So basically, this bunker was on the other side of that bunker. So it's just accounting for modern distances, basically. So ah, okay. we leapfrogged the bunker over. Okay, so big change made out here to accommodate the game, and even uh, one of the many changes you might have to make when a captain's picked for the Ryder Cup, and they want to come in and start messing around with uh, what's happening out here. But from a best management perspective, you think, well, wait. What, what, how, is, how is it bunker? What are the best manager practices for bunkers? Well, what I'll tell you is when you look at the labor allotments that golf courses have to put in on a per acre basis for an acre of bunkers and an acre of greens, they're pretty damn similar. Uh, the energy we put into things that aren't grass on the golf course, it distracts us from doing other things and you know having to run equipment to take care of the sand. So having a system that drains like this, this is the... Well, what we would call it in every other place is porous pavement. Here they call it... The better billy bunker. The better billy bunker. But it is essentially is graded stone without the fines. And then they, uh, they're sized out so that they'll uh, provide the, keep the voids. And then they spray an epoxy. Correct. On it, right? So if someone's never seen it, this is a good video to see sort of what's involved. This is really the gold standard, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes they'll use capillary concrete. Is anybody using capillary concrete around here? I see capillary concrete in other parts of the country. Uh, this is more common around here. Correct. Now, you've got a bunch of these on this property a long time now, don't yeah, we? All the greenside bunkers have been done. I think the first ones we did were before the 2012 Barclays. So the oldest ones now are about a dozen years old. And they still function properly. Yeah, yeah, they hold up really well. It's, it's held up very well so, so far. So even yeah. any free, freezing and thawing or frosting hasn't cracked these things in any way? No, no, so minor stones, like I said, that's a little bit of one thing you, that you have to do on a golf course anyway, is just accounting for the sand levels yeah. and making sure maybe the machine, if you have a machine in here that doesn't kick up some stones. That's right. So there's a little bit of maintenance that way. But in terms of the labor saved from washouts, it's, uh, you know, a grand slam. Uh, I mean, the, the black course has about seven and a half acres worth of sand, so it's a lot of sand out here. Yeah. So having that not wash out is yeah. uh, saves you a lot of labor. Saves a lot of labor. That, sure. That's other things that we can do because typically yeah. it's a double whammy. If you get a heavy rain, the bunkers wash out, and you have to remove water from areas on the golf course. Now with that's the bunkers right. staying still, yeah, yeah. it's a little more. Uh, and and we, and we one of the one of the design elements of this place. Uh, are the flashed uh, faces on the bunkers. Correct, yeah, yeah. Like you look at 15, really flashed face, and here you still have a flashed face. So having the labor savings from that, and boy, I gotta say, just the kudos to the construction crew, the sodding, you guys got this down to a science, the amount of bunkers that you do in an average year, and of course, how you roll the sod over, and then Mike's left to figure out how to keep the grass alive uh, uh, over the ridges, right? Which has its own intense management associated with it. So good BMP here is uh, building them right, getting the right sand in that minimizes the amount of emissions associated with tending to it or fixing it after a rainstorm that are much more common. Uh, we're getting much more intense rains now. Right. We've, maybe this is a good place for us to <laughs> yeah. chat about it. We were just here last week and uh, I guess there was some rain that came through last week and some serious flooding we on had, Long uh, Island on Tuesday, right? Right, Tuesday? we had about a two and a half inch rain, which included an inch in an hour. And then this Saturday, again, two inches of rain Saturday. And yeah. so we've had areas that have flooded out six or seven times in the last year that hadn't that flooded six or seven times the past 20 years and you know kevin uh, uh kevin o kevin o'brien at uh, james baird said the same thing to us when we went up there you were seeing flooding in areas that we haven't ever seen or rarely see now we're seeing more frequently and you know we're standing in something that's allowing water to penetrate and this is one of the great things about golf courses is that in and amongst the, when you look at this area, you're landing in JFK, there's not a lot of green space out here. So this green space becomes really important for stormwater management. And when